How to do smooth zoom in and out transitions or skills or whatever you want to call it in After Effects. And I've already prepared my clips, like I've done the Twixter and stuff like that. So yeah, if you want to learn how to do the Twixter, then you can click on the top right corner right now. But um, yeah, let's get started. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do like a zoom out, then to the next clip a zoom in, then a zoom out again. So that's what I'm going to try and do. For the first clip, you want to click on there, press S on your keyboard so you can open up these skills. Go to like the end of the clip, put a keyframe right there so it's 100%. Then go to the beginning. I'm going to uh, usually do the value between like 200 and 250, but it's kind of up to you. Then select both keyframes, press F9, open up the graph editor. Do your graph something like this. So not like completely flat, but a little bit like this so it goes really fast in the beginning and then there's movement like throughout the whole clip the whole time so that's kind of what i like to do then once you've done that you want to add a null so you can go to layer new null object cut it that part of the clip and also for this one and then you can delete this so i'm going to put this null already over the other clip because we're going to use that for that one as well then you want to parent this clip to that null go to about like one third of the clip and open up the skill uh, thing again. And once again, gonna put it to about 250, select both keyframes, F9, open up the graph editor. This time I do a graph like this. So then you got your transition like this. So that's kind of smooth. So by using a null, you kind of overlap the movement. So there's movement uh, throughout the whole clip. So then for the second clip, if you haven't done this, by the way, you want to add some motion tile. I usually like to begin with about like 90% and then you can kind of see the motion tile. Put a keyframe there, go to the end, do like about 125 or maybe like 35. Select both keyframes, F9, graph editor, and then do a graph, something like this. So you have this going on like that. Then again, parent this clip to the null. Uh, about one third of the clip, S on your keyboard, put a keyframe, and then put this back to zero. So then uh, select both keyframes, F9, graph editor. Once again, a graph right about like this. And then for the last clip, you just wanna, I, basically, you can actually just copy these if you want to, to be honest, because it's kind of just the same transition. So then you have this. Now, if you think your clip is a little bit too smooth, then as you can see right here, what I've done, you can like move the keyframe a little bit more to the right. So it's just like a shorter transition. So it's a little bit less smooth, but still pretty clean. And once you're done with all of this, you can add some twitch shakes and it would look like this. And yeah, so if you would like to learn how to do these twitch shakes, you can also click on the top right to learn that. And this is kind of it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave a like and let me know in the comments if it actually helps you out. And yeah, I'll see you next time.